Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daddy Chess and welcome back to Razer or um, Random SCP Review. So uh, it's been like two weeks or three weeks even uh, from the last time I actually make this kind of video. I mean, if you guys watch this, it's probably like um, um, it's probably like once a week or something like that, right? Uh, but in real life, uh, here like at the time of I'm recording, it's already like uh three weeks separate separated, right? Uh, the reason why is because I think it has something to do with the fact that the previous SCPs we have uh so many parts of it, right? Like uh, the previous one was the Octopus Garden, right? Which has two parts, and then the Atohalan it has five parts. So you know, like I divide that into uh, a course of five to seven days once, right? So yeah. Anyway, I will start the generating number, I guess, and uh, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, so now we're going to discuss about SCP five seven six six three, uh, and I will be right back. Okay, here we are in the um, SCP wiki, I guess, in the web, and this is SCP-5763, which is I dreamt or I dreamed I was a butterfly. Oh, that's interesting, um, I guess. Let's just jump into it, I guess. Uh, you know, I dreamed I was a uh, butterfly, okay. Oh, this one's interesting. Uh, the, the creator of the creator, I mean the creator of um this SCP I guess they designed the page the page as well okay so it is site something department of surrealistics okay um level 3 confidential okay um containment class ESO or ESO esoteric uh secondary class Tomiel uh disruption class dark okay risk class notice um don't know what that I don't know any of what any of this means, but Tomiel, I think this is the same as um the previous one, I think. Um you know, it's either like yeah, I mean it's a I kind of forgot already, right? But we actually already had some kind of Tomiel uh SCP as well. Uh anyway, uh which is I dreamed I was a butterfly with a period, right? So you know the dot i think it there there was a dot right which is a period so um maybe that uh that's something as well right uh non you know i mean otherwise you know usually title don't have you know titles don't have uh period marks at the end right but i think it had one right uh, after butterfly uh okay so special containment procedures to ensure the comprehension okay so first before we actually start actually let's glance over oh okay so it is only uh very um you know like it is very short but however i think i found something over here which is yes this one over here uh it looks like it's clickable and it will connect to some other place as well and then this semantic dissociation or disassociation so um maybe if we still have time we will actually go there but first maybe this one at first uh maybe that will reveal more of the page right because uh again um anyone can design this page i think right for uh whatever they want right uh maybe they include like a hyperlink right so yeah anyway to ensure the comprehension of this document to foundation personnel, only the current department of Surrealist surrealistics director is permitted to alter this file. And only after two weeks of abstaining from SCP-5763. Okay, additionally, no member of the department of surrealistics is allowed to access this file's description, as doing so could render the anomaly ineffective. Uh, due to the requirement of SCP-5763 for the Department of Surrealistics to maintain functionality, SCP-5763 and all related anomalies are to be kept at site, uh, yeah, site Surrealistics, I guess, under the direct supervision of the Department of Surrealistics Director. Due to the highly addictive property of 5763, it is strictly for use by the department only. 
As of present, Marcel Sequitor uh, is the Department of Surrealistic Director. Okay, that's interesting because they um they kept it up to date of who is in charge, right? Um, and the fact that they also mention a name, a full name of someone, um, it is, yeah, I would say it is interesting. Like I always said, right, about any of this SCP, it is interesting. Because it is, it is interesting. Um, you know, like, uh, because usually you censor the name, right, with uh, squares, right, black squares. Uh, but this one, you just... Um, you know, you, you gave this information, right? Like, you gave this person and you gave the title, right? Or the position of that, right? Which is the director. So, um, it's a little bit odd, right? Um, maybe something uh, is... Um, there's a reason behind this, probably, right? The file from here on out has experienced corruption, okay? Uh, interesting. Description. A state of delirium self-inflicted. Can you handle the ramifications? Agnostics, an, an anomalous chemical refined by the foundation for use by the site uh, Surrealistics, uh, Department of Surrealistics. Okay, uh, I thought there's something else after that. Uh, 5763 effects include the following. Semantic disassociation, auditory and visual hallucinations, uh, censored hallucinations, particle lack of um, okay awareness, complete lack of object permanence, unknown grasp on reality, flawless grasp on reality. What is reality? Is it a dream or is it when you awake? Oh. Okay. So first, uh, there is something interesting over here. So I will mention it right now. Uh. It says the file from here has corruption, right? I think what happened is probably the SCP, maybe, like, it can alter um, the documents, probably, right? And then the thing that I noticed as well is that there is this, uh, uh, you know, sentence that are in uh, caps lock, or, or not caps lock, but in uh, bold, right? Uh, there is this bloat. I mean, both one, and then there's the regular one, right? And then this one, right? What is reality? Is it a dream or is it when you awake, right? Um, you know, like, maybe this is uh, the, you know, the corruption, right? Uh, maybe that's why it is all on a uh, bold, right? Um, you know, like, thick black, right? Uh, agnostics, a substance that is refined. I mean, that's just my theory for now. A substance that is refined but crude. There is a wonder to being able to let go of your inhibitions, don't you agree? And yet, in that final question, I wonder who I am. Uh, the methods by which 5763 operates is unclear. The ingredients used to create it have varied greatly over the endless time they have seemed to exist, praying that the secret doesn't get out. We don't want to be exposed. Oh, we. We don't want to, ex we want to be exposed. Ah, uh, okay, so, yeah, the the corruption is, uh, as for now, I will theorize that the corruption occurs from the 5763, right? Um, yeah, uh, wait, I want to see something else over here. Um, okay, no member of department allowed to access this file's description, as doing so could render the anomaly ineffective. Um, okay, so only the director, right, uh, to alter this file, and that's Marcel Sequitor, right? Uh, my other theory is that Marcel Sequitor is under the influence of 5763, and all these bold sentences over here, I think, is Marcel um, consistently altering or changing the contents of these uh, SCPs, right? And then it's sort of... Uh, create like some kind of corruption right uh maybe that's just my theory again uh we don't want to be exposed okay so one of the characteristic that this sap or 5763 don't doesn't want that uh doesn't want themselves to get exposed i guess um 5763 was created by senior researcher jamie robertson shortly after a transfership to the now titled site um what's that again surrealistics right 
uh, how fitting in his own creation would send him in spirals, just like his spiral bound notebook. Okay, so um, okay, so first, uh, SCP five seven six three is created, right? So it is artificial thing. Uh, which is created by senior researcher Jamie Robertson um, after transfership to the uh, to the decide basically right uh, how fitting in his own creation would send him in spirals uh, just like his spiral bound notebook um, so I guess I still not sure what this is right uh, is this like some kind of um, I don't know if I'm uh, I, I, if I'm allowed to say this, is this like some kind of LSD stuff? You know, like uh, after you consume it, you experience this uh, weird effect, right? Like uh, you begin to hallucinate about stuff, right? Uh, is this that? Uh, I, I honestly don't know. The ramblings of the architect can become clear. Do we still be enlightened? Yes. Okay, so maybe... Clicking this will reveal more to it, but yeah, footnotes, they are encouraged to access the content procedures for clarity's sake. Uh, for what? Uh, is there any footnote notation? Oh, this one over here. Okay, so uh, no member is allowed to access, as doing so could render the anomaly ineffective. And what does that mean? It means that they are encouraged to access the containment procedures for clarity's sake. Okay, so um, they only do the procedures for containment right uh but yeah just for that um okay i guess i will press this one then uh you will wake up someday right um oh okay so um oh also by the way wow this just unfold a lot of stuff um I only have like 15 minutes left or so, so um, we'll try my best to, uh, the story doesn't end that easy and it is also clickable, wow, wow, the the creator of this, this SCP, wow, they really use uh, maximum effort uh, for the page then, they just keep going, wow, actually, yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting now. Uh, oh, I see some a word over there, which means drug. Uh, you know, I wonder if this is LSD, right? Because that's like my first guess. Uh, but yeah, um, you know, it also says you will wake up someday, right? Uh, yes, I guess. I mean, it means that eventually the effects will wear off, right? At some point, maybe this is what that's... Um, like maybe this is what it means right but yeah actually let's keep going uh this is the first testing of foundation disbelief chemical currently unnamed i'm senior researcher jamie robertson testing a chemical intended to rationalize the most ridiculous okay make anomalies simpler the skip i've been working on is impossible to wrap my head around but usually there's always a way that way is just often anomalous. I will be taking a minor dose. We'll see the effects. Um, testing chemical intended to rational the most ridiculous uh, anomaly probably, right? Um, to make anomalies simpler. Okay, so I guess this is... Oh, I see what's going on. Uh, again, theory, right? Theory time. So I think what's going on over here is that this researcher uh, works for the foundation, right? And he, uh, I guess I would say he, he made this, uh, he created this chemical. Um, its purpose is probably to like some kind of protection against other SCP, right? Like, uh, you know, like make this, you know, so that you, you are immune to some kind of memetic hazard, right? or any cognito hazard right or any other hazards uh, stuff right so you know taking this chemical maybe you know the intention is to protect the user from um you know like from um getting the effect of ridiculous anomalies right so over here right this intent uh, intended to rationalize that uh, i think or you know simply just make anomalies anomalous 
or anomalies simpler i guess right um you know like so that i guess so that they can understand what anomalous uh, effects do more easily right uh, okay i will be taking a minor dose we'll see the effects okay senior researcher jamie robertson no effects were noticed on any of the previous trials and as such the dose is being doubled for the fifth time um because there is no effect then he just keeps doubling the dose right until fifth time so you know maybe it's only one gram and then he doubles that uh two grams and then doubles again four grams and so on and so on right uh, until fifth time which will be like uh one two four eight sixteen grams so that's basically like a spoon right uh so yeah of whatever it is okay so uh jamie uh okay ineffective likely a result of ingredient failure oh, oh that still even still fail uh, to uh give any uh effect okay looking into possible alternative options i've heard side uh something experiments with this stuff the department of inconceptuals might look into being transferred okay so um he planned uh, to gather more information from other uh, sites, right? Uh, so yeah, uh, Jamie Robertson, site seven, site site something is great, and the inconceptual department has a lot of work on this already. Hypothesis, speculation, no clue how much of it is right, but perhaps there's a step here. Uh, site something is interesting to say the least. Although I'll be inking out the number going forward, turns out major no go. They've been thinking of renaming the site and department even. Uh, maybe my chemical will have to wait. Okay, so um, there is something going on in this site, right? Um, and he cannot proceed. Uh, oh, wait. Hold on. Don't say that he will begin experimenting himself. Oh, that will actually be a bad thing. Uh, hopefully not. Um, the sky took on a golden color and the grass was gray. I think I could see myself somewhere in the distance. Whenever I tried to walk, the sky got brighter and the ground got darker until it was blinding. I apologize, this was not intended for my work journal. Huh. So, this sounds like the effects start to kick in, I guess. Either that... Or he began again experimenting with more ingredients, right? And it actually worked. And um, and this is the effects, right? Uh, this unintentional thing that he wrote over here, right? Um, I was thinking about dreams because I used this journal, the wrong journal earlier today. What if the key ingredient to make some delusional is placebo? If I believe it makes sense or that it works, it would, correct? Might run that by director sequitor. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So like I said, he began to experiment, right? And then instead of adding something, he adds a placebo if effect. Um. You know, it's actually interesting because the fact that placebo is actually used in our um, modern medicines, right? Like, a uh, not all medicines has um the thing that's what's supposed to work right like some of them is just empty uh just empty body right um and it's just placebo effect basically right uh i see i think what happened is is that he began to believe that his recipe is right right and then um it is right his medicines i think starts to work right which is this one over here is probably like um one of the thing the effect that he actually experienced right oh uh, yeah uh, i mean that's still theory but i think that's what's going on over here um side uh surreal sticks is the new name something to do with symbolism makes no sense to me but that's why i'm here oh okay Okay, ah, I see again. Okay, so this backstory over here is Jamie doing this in other sites, right? And then he got transferred into this site, and then this site got renamed into Site Surrealistics, right? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, foundation, 
uh, uh, makes no sense to me, but that's why I'm here. Foundation technology, fancy dream reader, can cognize my dreams or make it reality. But maybe it will give me clarity when I'm awake enough to make heads or tails of alchemy and efficient placebos. I might have an answer, this is so bizarre, but it, if this works, at least no one will get accidentally dosed on dysgenics. Uh, yeah. Data redacted. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, it work. It work. How is the key dreaming and believing? I can't believe it. Disassociate solutions. Disassolutions. Dissolution. Dissolutions. Delusion. Uh, disbelief. SCP 1278 2999 4721 4923 5763. Uh, amnestics taken. Gymnastics. Uh, conceptions. Concepto. Altheoxtic, Althetosti, Atosi. Okay, so hold on. There is this list of SCP. I don't know what any of this is. Again, this is like um, uh, SCPs that has four digits, right? So it is, you know, pretty much more recent, right? So yeah, um, I don't know any of these. So if you guys know any of this SCP, like... Uh, the SCP-1278, SCP-2999, uh, SCP-4721, or SCP-4923 over here, let me know, right? Because 5763 is actually this SCP, right? So I wonder if there is a connection between these four other SCPs, right? Uh, but yeah, Agnostic. Oh, I see. Um, okay, so Agnostics are currently still being tested. I don't think the staff will buy it. I might need to fake some sort of drug. Hello friends and co-workers, I'm here, Mr. Sek. Uh, agnostics, the drug to remember. Uh, agnostics, the blue people to be taken before sleep, cognitive sleep walk, sleep waking. Sequitor bought it, he fell for it. Is it tricking my superiors to say something works if there isn't anything at all? What if it works despite that? The placebo is just a part of the step, I suppose. Makes it cheap though. Oh, uh, okay, so um, I guess he sells it, but why though? Um, is it like actually possible like if you work in some sort of company and then you start doing stuff and then you start selling random stuff right is that legal I mean you use the foundation stuff right uh, but not really because in this case he didn't add anything right he just used a placebo basically uh, and said that in the advertisement right that this drug will do something right uh, and people bought it like this one the sequitor right um the placebo is just a part of a step i suppose makes it cheap though yeah because you didn't add anything and i you know like uh i i think what's going on next is that this actually works and i would just assume that something bad is going to happen uh but yeah uh, might take a short break from research, figure out what I want to do. Maybe I'll look into 4923 again. The odds I wanted that number for agnostics seriously, 4923. Uh, is that actually written over here? Yeah, it, it is. So, uh, I don't know if this is canon, like, uh, you know, like maybe other SCP, which is SCP, like this one, 4923, is actually a thing again that connects to this or this is just a, like um what is it like easter eggs i guess from the creator that they you know they wanted to have the scp4923 as their uh designated scp files right or scp number right um maybe it's already been taken that's why uh it's kind of more like a ranting right because this one i wanted that number seriously so you know maybe this is like an easter egg uh, otherwise, this can also be canon, right? Maybe SCP-4923 is something about medicines as well. Or maybe about placebo, I don't know, right? Um, I still have like probably 10 to 15 more minutes to be honest. But yeah, we'll actually... Let's see again. Uh, I mean, that's not that much. I guess I will start uh, discussing real quick then. Frankly, fantastic. Oh, this one's bold again. Um, I guess this is like... Might take a short break from research. Figure out what I want to do. Maybe I'll look into... Uh, 
is this like uh does this mean like uh the research trying to get a sleep or you know like the short break right uh maybe sleeping and then i think what's going on is that when he sleeps the effects actually kicks in and then he became um what is it like sleep waking right like it said previously so you after you sleep you you're awake right you you woke and then you start doing things that you don't remember probably right but yeah frankly fantastic 120 um billion just the nine oh okay yeah billion neuron screwed it slowly turns to stone not to self gods of cognitive courses semantic anchor fake agnostics agno- agnostics make your doubt oh agnostics make you doubt uh, the R is actually um, got, uh, what is it, like, strike through, right? Uh, warrior of truth. Brevity? We are mad. Uh, what the fuck did I write? Ah, yeah, over here. Uh, he didn't realize that he starts writing stuff, right? So, yeah. Uh, somehow, overnight, I became aware enough on 4923 to rewrite huge chunks of it con procs. Might do this a few more times. Sleeping medications might extend it. Actually, could sleeping pills work as agnostics? If the user thinks it will work, right? I'm turning that out, but that said, I have it. Time to rewrite it. I see how Markel or Marcel, I guess, likes it. I've worked here for months and only learned now his name is... <laughs> yeah, he's Marcel with a C, not a K. Yeah, like I said, right? Markel? No, it's Marcel, right? Uh, anyway, Marcel was fine with it. I mean, to be honest, if you're if you're from certain country, C is sometimes pronounced as K, right? So you know, Markel or Marco is Marcel, right? Uh, actually, right? Uh, but yeah, or Marcel or something like that. But yeah. Um. Anyway, Marcel was fine with it. Uh. Oh, this one began sleep writing. I guess. Uh. Carl Jung, Thomas Huxley, John Locke. I could write a book. Uh, Jamie Robertson's Guide to the Guide to the Guide of Nothingness can publish it, but it'll be neat. Need to make it feel more real, maybe addictive, expensive to create, uh, more paycheck for me, uh, expensive to create. Major symptoms, what happens if I tell a staff member that their teeth will fall out? Uh, Marcel was about to fire me over the teeth thing, maybe I should come clean. I thought I knew how my own drug worked, and chemically, it does. Uh, to my dearly beloved, this is my final message. I need to confront the dream and nightmare I made. Also, I have something to say over here as well, uh, maybe after this. This is my final task to the foundation. What I created wasn't a drug. I made a doorway out of lies. The job is too much for me. I'll let them solve it. Oh... Okay, I mean, that's just placebo, right? Okay, so first, over here, um, what happens if I tell a staff member that their teeth will fall out, right? So, I think this is a reference that sometimes when you sleep, sometimes you dream that your teeth will fall out, right? And maybe it's something actually happened, and then, you know, Marcel, uh, you know, like, didn't like it, right? And he was about to fire him, fire James, so, yeah, maybe I should come clean. I mean, um, yeah, maybe, like, if you, like, if you put something into their head where they are conscious, then maybe when they're sleeping, they will rethink about it, right? And maybe their teeth actually fall out in their dreams, right? So, yeah. Uh, I thought I knew how my own drug worked, and chemically, it does. It does work, right? Um... I made a doorway out of lies. Okay, so this is basically a placebo thing, right? So maybe this whole SCP is about placebo, basically, that, um, you know, like, it is like a breakthrough about uh, medicines without actually needing the uh, core materials, right? Uh, as long as you believe that it will work, it works, right? Um, so, yeah. Yeah, a doorway out of lies. So because of this lie, which is placebo, it opens, you know, lots of doorways, right? Uh, maybe these medicines then got applied more uh, massively, right? More developed, right? Um, maybe this SCP is like uh, the, uh, you know, the source or, 
you know like the background of uh, making actual placebo in our real life right uh, maybe this tells story about that but i think so yeah this job is too much for me i let them solve it okay so um he already did the uh, the start starting point i guess and i guess this time uh he let the foundation to uh develop this even further right uh maybe to make this into like um commercials right in a big scale right like industrial scale so yeah the story doesn't end that easy though so yeah let's actually type this link and see if there is more to that okay so we are taken to this one as you can see at the website up there it says scp5763 offset dash one right uh okay there is a lot of uh more of these um then whose is it okay i don't see anything over here i don't know if this is intention you know leaving all these blank spots over here um but yeah i think that's the end of it but however um oh this one's as well although it could also be very safe oh yeah okay interesting uh okay so now we are uh in the way that you know the bold letters or the bold sentence and then this one right so okay so there is an interaction interaction going on there right uh because of that i think um this will be for another part right it's actually it's very interesting now because um you know i guess yeah uh the story got its reference or revolves around the concept of placebo right and um and yeah it's basically a medical thing right um so you know like um maybe this is like a uh, that like placebo however this actually works and something worse is happening right something bad is going on but yeah that will be for another part but yeah i will unfortunately i will have to stop this here because um yeah i already did like 30 minutes or uh, about that right uh, also as you can see at the top right corner the time is 5 33 uh, basically it's twilight in here in my country it, it, you know the sun is about to set and um i need to do some other stuff right um uh, i'm kind of um concerned though because i will re you know continue this maybe in the next day or something like that and you know maybe i will forget what's going on right so yeah i will probably after this i will make a note about you know the core stuff right i mean obviously this is about placebo and then uh the protagonist i guess or the main character is called jamie uh it were he works for site um this site over here site that is uh surrealistics and he develops some kind of medicines right uh and then he kind of like um sells it right to other people and then it you know the 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 medicine or the drugs or so i'd say works right it gives something right and maybe we will see more of that later on here right uh but yeah and that will be for the next uh part of this one i guess uh but until then thank you guys so much for watching this has been uh what's this called again racer uh random scp review this is the eighth scp that we discussed unfortunately like um you know this scp is long right however that that's what makes it more interesting right because the lore is actually there is more into the lore right it's not just like a few paragraphs and done right there is more details about this which is more interesting right um when you tell a story you want more details so that your readers or viewers know what's going on right but yeah, uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I will continue this in the next one. Uh, until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you again very, very soon. And see ya!